Well, you took your time. Jack, where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah! All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Humble. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Anyway, we got Jack. And that's all that matters for right now. Come on. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Hey. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <sighs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
make some room for John there. Come on, are we celebrating? Yeah. 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 Come on! Hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, yeah. <laughs> play us away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. La sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los You okay, Sadie? Tahiti, dear boy. You boy. Tahiti. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur, have a little faith. Let me tell you boys about the time I Here you are. Eat up. Anyway, I got caught by some. I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Yes. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. And at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. But, uh, Boring bastard. I never saw. He shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. Good to see you smiling again, again, Abigail. Thank you again. Truly. Ah, uh, I missed that little rascal. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later, then. Take care, Arthur. Karen, Karen. Hello, Arthur. Come on. How are things? Hell, I'm doing real Welcome good. Welcome home, little Jack. That's the spirit. Oh, yep, it's good I'm talking to you. Look after that kid. Oh, I will. He's a brave boy. Sure, 
And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home boys. We did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. He climbed up you. <laughs> he rumbled me, he tumbled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me okay. my breath, I got no sleep at all. He upped me and he downed me and he caught me out and in. He fucked me black and blue, though it was a sin. And early in the morning, before the break of day, he handed me a ten-pound note and leave for him to say, Mr. Strait, this is ours for the damage I have done. Nine months from now, you'll have a doctor or a son. Howdy, Arthur! How are you? Hell, pretty good. Good to hear. Sounds good. The bastard off to sea <laughs> with that little ribbon tarpon hat and that coat of navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed up you. Maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. And I'm going to be right at home there. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. Another song? Come on, fellas. What do you got for me? Did you think, Grimshaw? We wouldn't have got you if it weren't for her. Of course. I owe you both my life. Let's just hope all that business is behind you now. You okay, Jack? Yes, a little tired. Yeah, you should go to sleep soon. Well, I should get back to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> 